Now, Jeff 24's Jay Pushkar with sports. Good evening. With a chance to clinch the franchise's first ever Eastern League championship, the Erie Seawolves were in New Jersey to battle Somerset in game number two. Mike Fenner making the trip to New Jersey for our coverage. No score in the bottom of the first, and the Patriots deliver in a huge way. Austin Wells. Jacks a three-run home run to right field off of Chance Kirby. Somerset bolting out to a 3-0 lead. Still in the first, the Patriots go up 4-0 on the RBI sack fly. Andres Shaparo would score, tagging from third, and he's in there to give the Patriots a 4-0 lead. Top of the second, Erie gets two of those runs back. Corey Joyce crushing a two-run home run to left. Erie down 4-2. But in the bottom of the second, the Patriots continue to hit home runs. Jason Dominguez drills one deep to center field for a two-run poke. It's a back to a four-run Patriots lead. Still in the second inning with a runner on. Elijah Dunham bombs a two-run home run to right field. Somerset with a four spot in the second. They led eight to two after two innings of play. Erie starter Chance Kirby lasting just one and a third innings of work, giving up five runs. Somerset forcing a third and deciding game of this championship series as they route the Seawolves, taking this one 9-2. Mike Fenner has more from TD Bank Ballpark. Entering Tuesday night with a chance to close out the club's first Eastern League championship win. The Seawolves come up on the wrong side of a 9-2 final, allowing three home runs over the course of the first two innings in a lopsided loss. They banged, you know, they, uh, they hit balls hard. Um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, Chance didn't have it tonight, and, but, I mean, he had a heck of a season. That's what, that's what I told him when I got the ball from him on the mound. You know, I said, I said keep your head up, you know, had a, had a, had a hell of a year. You know, you're, you're, uh, you're a huge reason why we're here. We know we're a good team. We know they're a good team. But I'm not too surprised as going game three. We uh, we play our game and do our job and swing it like we did tonight. Uh, it doesn't really show on the scoreboard, but I thought we had good at bats and they did too. And they found the holes and and over the fence a couple. So it's the way the game works. I'm not too worried about tomorrow. We'll come out and do fine. Ty Madden gets the start on the hill Wednesday night in the deciding game three for the 6:35 p.m. first pitch. Reporting with the Seawolves here in Bridgewater, New Jersey, Mike Fenner, Jet 24, Action Sports. Thanks, Mike. There you see game two, the final score one more time. A champion will be crowned by night's end on Wednesday night.